In this lesson, we'll show you how to select objects for a clash test. The first thing you need to do before preparing to run the clash test is get the clash test set up. We've already done that in a previous lesson, and you can see it named clash test structural versus MEP. You also need to set the rules, which in this case we have chosen not to alter. Once the preliminaries are done, click the Select tab. This is where you'll choose the items you want to check. You'll see in the Selection A window that there are two files listed. Likewise, there are two files listed under Selection B. What this means is that you can choose one file from Selection A and run a clash test against another file from Selection B. So for our example, we're going to select project1.nwd under selection A. That's the structural model. And then project1.mep.nwc under selection B. That obviously is the MEP model. We can now specify a few more parameters before running the clash test. First, we're going to unselect self-intersect. If selected, this object would check to see if a project clashed with itself. We can also set the tolerance, which determines how much of a clash has to be detected before the clash test will report a positive result. We'll set it to half an inch for this example. We'll continue setting everything up in the next lesson.